Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The market's kind of uh, held up today after a few days of consolidation. The Dow opened lower. We expected some profit-taking consolidation based upon the weak signals over the last uh, uh, two weeks of trading. And you can see how the stochastics were heading down. Not very hard selling, which meant it was more profit taking. Today, when it opened lower, there was a good possibility they could take it down. However, with them closing the index, the Dow back up above the T line, that gives you a good indication that the probabilities are this was profit taking. Maybe we're in wave heading for the next wave. It was more evident over here on the NASDAQ where they opened right on the T line and started trading positive, giving us a good indication still that the uptrend remains in progress as long as the indexes stay above the T line. This gives us the opportunities to take advantage of strong price trends. As you can see in Tesla, it gapped up off the 34 through the T line, through the breakout level. And then notice the dojis, and then last two trading days prior to today had two double dojis. This is merely an indication that there's profit taking, but no hard selling. This is a very common pattern using the candlestick doji signals. It's telling you there's pullback indecisively, which means if they open up positive, there's going to be another strong day, just like the day prior to that break or to those. Uh, doji days. So we can have the opportunity, knowing that the market is heading positive, even though it's maybe very slow, to find out the, find the breakout patterns. Plug has been a very good trade for us. Strong price move after the breakout. J-hook pattern, still in an uptrend. Domo was one of our recent recommendations because it did a best friend signal breaking out through this level. And as you can see today, it had another strong move right here. Now we're looking for the next breakout through this level, taking us up into this trajectory. Pen, nice steady eddy. Whenever we see a fry pan bottom breakout, and the breakout was clearly illustrated by the doji sandwich, a bullish candle, a doji, and then our doji rule tells us if they open up positive, they're gonna trade positive. If they're going to trade positive, it's usually the same magnitude as that candle or better, which means the fry pan bottom resistance level is not acting as resistance. That's where you get the big strong moves coming out of a fry pan bottom. Which means when we see a pattern, this is a cradle pattern, a big down day. Look how all, all these flat dojis told you there's lots of indecision. This candle told you they've made up their mind of what their decision is, giving you a cradle, a headboard, the bed, the footboard, usually hanging down between two big uh, trends. This means we're looking for a positive open tomorrow, producing a J-hook pattern, which should produce another big move to the upside. This just allows us to be prepared for the next expectation of a price pattern move coming out of a pattern that we recognize. The cradle pattern usually creates very strong upside uh, trades. Same scenario on our recommendation this afternoon on S F slide. Look at your cradle pattern. Big down day, flat uh, bed, and then the uh, footboard telling you the next move should be at least back up to this level. You add the prospects of being in the oversold area and it's forming right smack dab on the 50, gives you that much more credibility that the bulls are taking control at least to head up to fill the gap at this level. If the Dow opens positive tomorrow, giving you a J hook pattern in the Dow with the NASDAQ trading above the T line, the S&P 500 trading above the T line, and the transportation index trading above the T line, just good uh, evidence 
that the bulls are still in control. This uptrend is in progress. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.